everybody hi <laughs> welcome back to a new video today is larry's surgery day finally bonked you guys right into the windshield it is Go 7 a.m how you feeling good you ready i am so ready i bet you are so we'll see how this goes hopefully it's nice and smooth and larry will feel much better i mean he's not going to be pain free because he's going to have a few days of discomfort but yeah probably three days of hating life which will be kind of a getting rid of the seven last seven days that I've hated life because of the pain and the throbbing and all mm. that stuff so mm. yeah there's light at the end of the tunnel there is light at the end of the hopefully tunnel hopefully it's not a freight train speaking of has your calming medication kicked in I feel a little bit a little bit calm yeah. we like that hey <laughs> so he's gonna have anesthesia today and um that'll be nice too so let's get him inside how you feel, babe? I feel good. <laughs> Say what you just said. So I was looking in the mirror today and I had had my usual nose hair growth that was kind of <laughs> thick. And I thought, they don't want to see that when I'm laying there with my head back like that. And that's exactly what they're looking at. So I used my trimmer and I got in there and because the last thing they want to hear when they're doing that is like, whatever's in there going ooh, ooh, ah, 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 ah. like what is that <laughs> he told me he trimmed the national forest or the national yellowstone national forest out of his nostrils this morning yeah i just died laughing guys hey, was nobody funny. want to see that larry has officially gone back for his surgery it is what time is it it is 7 33 and i did not bring my vlogging camera they originally Oh my, hopefully everybody's okay. They originally said they wanted me to sit in the office during a procedure, but she actually wanted me to sit out in the car. So I'm out in the car and I did not bring my vlogging camera. So all of this footage so far is going to be on my phone, which I know is not the best quality. So I apologize for that, but very happy Larry is going back for his surgery and I will keep you guys updated throughout the day. Also, I'm Instagram storying you guys. And while doing that, this big thing crashed inside the car. So I'm sitting in the car. It's a really pretty shady area with like pretty trees and um, peat moss hanging down or whatever that is, moss stuff. And so I have the windows down so I don't have to run the car. And this big chunk of something just landed inside the car. And I was like, oh my gosh, did a bird just drop a worm? What the heck is that? But it wasn't moving, right? So I pick it up with a friggin' napkin and it was the most foul smelling poo ever. It was poo, it was legitimately poo. I'm like, that's disgusting. So I tossed it out, shoved the napkin cause I couldn't litter. There's no trash cans and I wouldn't litter. So I like shoved it in Larry's empty pill bottle and I'm just gonna throw that out. And I sanitized the door. So yay, we started the morning off with like a bird pooing inside the car, which makes sense because I have the windows down and we're parked under a bunch of trees. Hi guys, we are home. I'm gonna talk quiet. We're back on the regular filming camera, but Larry is asleep. It is currently 10.10. We got home at about 9.30. So what happened was it happened all very fast. I didn't film Larry at all because, <laughs> so I was in the parking lot and then the doctor came up behind my car and he said, are you here for Larry? And I said, yeah. And he's like, all right, he's all finished. Just go ahead and pull around back. He was in a wheelchair and the doctor and one of his assistants loaded him in the car. The doctor was so sweet, so nice. Larry's surgery went very well. He had two teeth pulled, which was the plan, and it went smooth. So um, the plan was, they said, make sure when he gets home that he eats something soft and cold and then get his medicines in and ice and to bed. So did that, I got him a bowl of ice cream and his medicines, we took care of that and he's on a time schedule because he has to take them three times a day. And then also he fell asleep with ice on. He's sleeping now, I just removed the ice because it was falling on the side and it wasn't where it was supposed to be and he is sleeping soundly, so that's good. Doctor did say though that, because Larry's like, he's not in pain. He's like, I feel so great. He's like, I don't have any pain in my jaw anymore. And I'm like, yay, but I know like, that's gonna wear off. The doctor said when they loaded him in the car, he's like, he's gonna be uncomfortable for the next three days. The next three days are gonna be the worst days. He said, sometimes people do really great though and they only have a day or two and then other people it lasts longer, but the average is three days, the third day possibly being the worst. So we'll see. 
and I'm just gonna peek in on him. I'm like crazy when somebody has a surgery done. I'm like looking at them every 20 minutes to make sure that they're still breathing, everything's still fine. <laughs> probably gonna be that way when the baby comes to aren't I I'm gonna be like are you still breathing are you okay um anyways so he's good thank you so much for the lovely words of and prayers I'm actually just looking at the comments on the video that I just uploaded it's the Larry's in pain and I think I'm being ghosted video with the floors and you guys have just been so supportive and just the best ever with that whole journey again as in Luna like protesting and smacking her food ball all over the place because it's empty which she gets fed twice a day and it's a specific amount so she's having attitude over there <laughs> um anyways what was i saying oh about the floors like you guys have just been so so nice about that and yeah i totally think they are ghosting me and i haven't heard back from lowe's i'm assuming i'll hear back friday she said she was going to check in with me friday and then as far as legacy flooring the people who laid the floors they're not returning any of my calls so uh, it's just such a shame but again i want to thank you guys all for your tips your advice your support also thank you for all the prayers for larry it is like 10 o'clock and i'm eating freaking leftover spaghetti <laughs> it's just the quickest it's the easiest i have stuff to do these cats better not go in and bother larry did they both go into the bedroom i think they did oh just made myself some lunch. Larry is still sleeping, but he has woken up. He's doing well. Still no pain, which is great. It's currently 1.30. And just got him some more ice. And I made my lunch. <laughs> it's quite a combination. Actually, it's a normal combination. It's macaroni and cheese and broccoli. And it's the macaroni and cheese from Publix. It's the white cheddar and gouda, I believe. And then I just steamed some broccoli in a pan because we have to balance that out and add some healthiness to it. So here that is. Yum! Look at it. Looks so good. And I am eating outside because it's a beautiful day. Everything I want in here. No, it is not. I need some banana. Okay, now we shall blend. first time in the pool for the season 78 degrees Fahrenheit the pool water temperature is a bit chilly but it feels so refreshing and I feel so much better I've had a bit of a day so this vlog is in continuation with what we filmed yesterday from Larry's surgery day Larry is doing really well today I'm filming this on my phone by the way um, he's doing really well He's currently in the kitchen. I can see him from the window. He's looking at his airplane book and he had his first solid food, warm food. He had some mashed potatoes. I mean, is that a salad? I mean, technically. So he had mashed potatoes today. His pain is managing well. And um, yeah, I had a bit of a like <laughs> stressful morning, like with computer stuff. I was having a hard time and I'm like, oh my God, I just need to, after I got it figured out, I um I needed to de-stress. So I figured I would come out into the pool, try to get in. I first started out sitting on the coffee table with Larry and we were just talking and catching up and 
then I was like, I'm gonna put my feet in the pool. And then I decided to put my bikini bottoms on and this is not technically a bikini top. It's actually a sports bra, but I popped that on and I was just gonna put my feet in the pool right here by the steps. And then I decided to, once those got warmed up, I decided to go in a little more. And then I was like, you know what, I'm going for it. So we went for it <laughs> and I'm very excited. So I think I'm gonna do some exercises. I have been waiting to do exercises in the pool for a long time. Leg exercises, arm exercises. I feel very weak. I'm not exercising, it's my own fault. I'm not doing anything to get in shape. It's like, I don't know, I just, I could do it inside. And then I'm like, mm, no, I don't feel like it. And then I don't, so whew, burr, just gotta chill. Need to keep moving in here. So I think I'm just gonna do some little arm, little, <laughs> little arm exercises in the pool and some leg exercises. I have lathered myself in sunscreen because I usually don't like coming in the pool until the sun is passed over the house, but we needed some de-stress today. So we're in the pool and we're gonna work on some physical <laughs> health and mental health, honestly. So I still have my morning coffee that I have been sipping on all day. It's taken me all day to get this down. So I'm still sipping on that. Luna's laying under the grill, Lexi's somewhere. And uh, let's do some exercises. Should I like do a time lapse? Yeah, why not? This seems colder than it did the other day. Ah, uh, oh, Mama Bird's watching you. She's on the corner of the house. Hi, Mama Bird. Oh, there she goes. I heard her squawking. Yeah. You know what I did, and it wasn't so bad, is I sat on that top seat, and then I scooched down one more and got used to it, and then I was able to just walk into the pool. Yeah, I watched it. But I sat a while. I did it in little phases. Did you know I'm filming? I did. You want to say hi? Hi! <laughs> I don't think they can see you. That's all right. They're not going to see anything. <laughs> Would you prefer me not share you? I get what they think. <laughs> you want to tell them how you're feeling? I want <laughs> poor Larry. He's still trying to get in. Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a mess. <laughs> like, I do have my chair. <laughs> you know, uh, it's a shame we don't have a, it's, it's 78 degree water, but it feels chilly. It definitely feels chilly. We need that water up into the eighties. Look at us. We sound like spoiled. <laughs> well, it was 80 when I was in it two days in a row last week. Yeah. We had some nights that went down into the low sixties and high fifties, which is why the pool dropped. But we're going up into the 70s for the lows. So that means it's going to get warmer. Warmer at night. Feeling much better than yesterday? Uh, we're not really. Not that I'm complaining, but it's a different kind of pain. When I had the teeth that were bad, it was near the nerve, and the pain was going 
along my jaw up into my ear and behind my eye. That's all gone now. The only pain I have now is from where the teeth used to be, which is much, much better. It still hurts, but it's not the same. Yeah, you're swollen still a little bit on that side. I can see it. So we're still doing his ice. He iced today. He oh, iced today. Well, we'll get you some ice when we get out of the pool too. I'm surprised to see you in here. I'm glad. It's a good thing. They said, you know, the first three days are the worst, but as long as he doesn't lift anything and do anything strenuous, you should be fine, so. Yeah, heaviest thing I've listed today is a book. <laughs> uh, I like books. Books are good, but mm -hmm. for like 79 degree water, it takes a couple seconds or a minute or 10, mm -hmm. but and now that I'm in from the waist down, I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm quite comfortable now too with my exercises. By the way, for people with pools that have concrete, I wouldn't do this with a with a vinyl pad or a vinyl oh, liner. Yeah. Uh, Walmart, how much are these? I don't know. Under 20 bucks, right? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. These things are great. You stick them in the pool. I would demonstrate sitting in it, but I'm not wet up here yet, so that's going to be a couple more minutes. <laughs> but you can just find a spot in the shallow end and Lounge. sit down, and yeah, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah, we went on a vacation with a bunch of Larry's friends and a couple years ago, and all the guys were sitting in the pool in these chairs, and it was hilarious to see, but they were all relaxed, like, doing their thing. All right, guys, I am going to shut it off. Larry and I are going to enjoy some time in the pool together. That's going to rain over there. I know. It looks like it's going to rain, but it never does. Well, it, always, it always looks like it, but we never get it. It may not rain here, but it definitely looks like it's going to do something over there. Our weather is so beautiful right now. It's so beautiful. What's today's date? May 13th. Oh, guys, it's Grandpa's birthday today. Hey, everybody. Happy Friday the 13th. Oh, yeah, and it's Friday the 13th. And happy birthday, Grandpa. Happy birthday, Grandpa. Yay. And it's, um, it's 80 degrees here today with 40% humidity. Is that what that says, or 50? Uh, it's like 47% humidity. We have, basically, we have no humidity. It's beautiful. So, anyways, I'm going to go swim. going to do some more exercises. Little babies love in the pool. I feel light as a feather in here. That's helpful. <laughs> and I'll chat with you guys soon. He did it. Larry is finally situated in his chair doing his thing. Pool chair can't beat it. No. We've been in here for quite a while. We have. It's now... Almost quarter after two. Yeah, 2.15. I think we've been in here over an hour. <gasps> and we had... Oh, that was me, like, splashing in the pool. We have little Luna. Hi, Luna. How's your pain level? About a two. That's good. Yeah. Yay. Oral surgeon did a great job and your body's doing a great job of doing its healing. Hopefully. Back inside from the pool and I'm having a little after pool snack, some fresh pineapple. Larry is getting ready to lay down, take some medicine, relax, take a nap. And I am going to edit the video that you guys are watching now, which you'll see tomorrow actually. So doing well with that. I have also heard from Lowe's. The update with that is Lowe's has gotten in contact with the district manager of Legacy Flooring and they are sending out the district manager to our house next Friday on the 20th. So fingers crossed we will see at least they got through because I've called Legacy a bunch of times. They have not received any of my calls. So thank goodness the people at Lowe's were able to reach them and send somebody out to our house. So that's kind of great news. And then tomorrow, Larry, no, not Larry, or Larry's not coming. Um, my mom and I are going baby furniture shopping. And a couple of you recommended the rooms to go in Tampa on Dale Mabry or May Mabry said that there's like a whole nursery baby section. So we're going to look at that. Um, we're going to go to that store instead of the Wesley Chapel store. So I'm very excited about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Felt so nice getting into the pool. I have quite a, um, don't know if you can see that and a tan line already from that. I don't know how it happened. Well, I know how it happened. I was in the pool and in the sun but it felt really nice. I feel so refreshed, so relaxed. 
I did my exercises and I really like the goal would be to get in the pool every day, even if it's just 30 minutes a day, just to do some exercises before baby is born to get my body in shape and all of that. Also, I had a little pimple <laughs> spot, little Larry's yelling sticker. I had one of my hero cosmetic stickers on. So if you guys saw that throughout that whole thing, I was wearing one of those because I woke up with a little white head over there. So that was fun little and I wore it outside and I'm like oh my gosh am I gonna end up with this circular tan line from that but I was wearing a lot of sunscreen so probably not hopefully not and if so well here we are so anyways guys thank you so much for watching I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend and I will see you guys again very soon bye